Morning all. It's uh, Wednesday morning, so I'm just rolling a cigarette at the moment, so just uh, excuse me. Um, hope everybody's alright. Yeah, it's Thursday morning, it's uh, 10.30. I've done a little bit more on the chassis, but at the moment I've got another job coming that I've got to, uh, I've got to do. Um, and you know when you get... People know that you spray cars, and uh, they sort of bring you their scabby old... 20 year old piece of crap and expect you to make it look like a, a silk purse well this isn't the case really this time but it's it's akin to the similar sort of job so uh, anyway this is a car I did a little while ago um, it had a big uh, smash but it's probably the most impractical car that you'd ever w wish to own or Hate to own. Recognise a badge? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> As Piss would say. Mm. I um I rebuilt this bumper probably about two years ago. You can't see it because it's so crowded in around here. Um, the whole corner was smashed in, and it's fiberglass. And it had had a sort of open wound for for months and months and soaked in the water. Anyway, I repaired it, but uh, unfortunately, there's a big blister here of moisture, which obviously gets trapped in fiberglass and doesn't come out until the thing's sealed, i.e. with paint on. Anyway, there's that. The guy's actually selling it, so there's that. I've already started work on this. this, which has gone over that edge, which really pisses me off because I was hoping to reverse edge off of that and just paint that that sort of thing there, but I can't now. I've got a blend out around here. Scab on the door. Rust. Loads of flies. And more rust. So, yeah. People will probably think, oh yeah, how cool, you've got a Ferrari in. Well, the thing is a pain in the ass. It's too wide. If if this wasn't here, it's too wide to actually get in the garage and work on it. And it's just... Well, it's just too big, really. I mean, it's a nice car, don't get me wrong, but I'd, I'd just want a massive garage to sit in it. Sit and, sit and look at it really, not drive it, because I, I did drive it once and it's, oh, I, I couldn't get on with it. So, so yeah, that's my job for the next couple of days. Um, I haven't actually got a uh, touch-up gun. And I've been meaning to get one for ages, because this, if I don't watch out, this will end up being a complete respray, the amount of bits on it. Being silver as well, I mean luckily it is silver so I'll get away with it a bit, if it was a dark colour it would be a problem but I'm just going to blend those bits in and uh, that, that'll do because he is selling it anyway so. Um, so I bought two cheapy guns off of eBay, £10 each, little mini touch up gravity fed gun, uh, I'm going to do that with them so uh, see how that turns out. Anyway the car, the chassis, as you see it's not much different. Um, I did strip the other side of the suspension and painted that. Um, bits of the front end now. The other bit, what did I do with them? Oh, they're in the sandblasting cabinet. So, uh, yeah, things are coming on, but. Mm. But now I've got to wait till I finish this thing off. So, and I'm hoping for good weather because I really could do with doing it over here because getting it over in mixed place over the road is a bit he's got his TR6 in the in the in the spray shop so I can't really keep turfing his car out so I'm gonna try and do it here and when my guns arrive hopefully tomorrow mm, I should be alright I've still got the paint for it actually than the last time loads of paint so yeah that's good and I know that's a good match because I did that corner in fact you can't see that light panel there I think I I blended the base coat up to the prancing horse 
and cleared the whole thing. And I think we did the same with the bumper. I don't know. But the quarter panel I actually blended that halfway. Oh, hang on. Round a reversed edge off of here. And I've blended it across there. And I think it's quite good actually. You can't see any uh, problems with that. But the repair itself, I mean this was totally smashed in. There's a great big hole here, so it turned out good and it's lasted well. Should have done, there's enough um, fiberglass in it. You know, the proper matting. I had to rebuild it and, uh, anyway, yapping. Um, so yeah, that's that's the job for the next uh, couple of days. I missed out on Mumble on Sunday because I, uh, I was having an evening with a bottle of wine. And uh, the wine sort of one I think. Hmm. So yeah, I haven't got anything else to report. Hope everybody's doing okay. John Kerry, on that video you did on your uh, on the plating was bloody brilliant. That was a really good video. That was very um, uh, instructional, I would say. Um, I've got to get mine sorted out because I did do I did a couple of bits. I did that the other day, and some other bits and pieces. What's that mark on there? Um, but they didn't come out quite as nice as I'd hoped. So uh, I'm going to have to have a rethink on that. I need to probably change the uh, change the electrolyte because it's getting a bit old now and it's been in there for months and done several jobs. But hmm. But yours came out good. It's very very pleasing. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to go and upload this. I hope everybody has a good day and I'll um, report back later on when I've done something with this thing here. Fancy going shopping in that. Now I'll just leave you a nice lingering look at the horse. Right, see you guys later on.